After taking time to reflect on all that happened, I realized how unacceptable both my actions and words were and how they affected so many. I'm truly sorry. I'm offering my sincerest apology to my players and their families, my staff, my family, and the Michigan fans around the world. I would like to personally apologize to Wisconsin's assistant coach, Joe Krabenhoff, and his family, too. Lastly, I speak a lot about being a Michigan man and representing the University of Michigan with class and pride. I did not do that, nor did I set the right example for the right way for my student athletes. I will learn from my mistake, and this mistake will never happen again. No excuses. JJ, good to see you, sir. How we doing? I'm great. Good. I'm All right. great. Um, let's get right to it. Do you agree with the five games for Howard? I think that's fair. Um, look, I don't think he should have lost his job. I don't think he should have been suspended for the season. But there had to be some sort of punishment for this. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's completely unacceptable what he did. And, and I, I, I think his statement is spot on. And, and this is a, a failure in leadership. And, and you saw the after effect of what happened when his players started yep. behaving in an in a, in a aggressive way. Following suit. Right. So this is a failure of leadership. He shouldn't have been suspended for the season. He should not have lost his job. I think five games is perfectly fair. Mm -hmm. Stephen A. Well, a couple of things. Uh, J.J. Reddick, uh, I want to applaud you for continuing to do a great job on television. Uh, thank you so much for being here. But let me give you a, a, a little, uh, you know, just a technical note. I know Molly's sitting next to you, but when you're oh, talking to go. her instead of me, the <laughs> audience sees the side of your head, okay? So you want to He gets to very jealous. He needs Look all the right attention always. Look right at me, always. J.J. Reddick. That's number one. I understand Excuse Molly's me, I a lot on the easier screen. to look. He's a lot easier screen. to look at than me. I Talk get it. the producers. I'm looking at you now. Listen, I'm looking. I'm, I'm, lo I'm locked just, in. I'm locked in. But, but before I go, before I give you my take, in all seriousness, I got to ask you this question. And I know that you're not excusing what Jawan Howard did. Why are you, are, are you of the position that he didn't deserve to be suspended for the rest of the season? Um, well, he, he, mushed a, he mushed a guy. Okay. He mushed a guy. Okay. It wasn't exactly a punch. Had he thrown a punch mm -hmm. in, in the handshake line, I think mm -hmm. we'd be having a different conversation. Mm -hmm. But he put his hands on someone. So okay. it, the, the act itself is what I'm referring to. I don't think the act itself... Okay. Is, warrant, is, is warranting a season-long suspension or a fire. Okay. Let me say, give you my answer to you yes. and, and, and Jay Williams as well, because this is how I genuinely feel. I believe he deserved to be suspended for the rest of the season. I'm ecstatic that he was not fired. I think he's a good man. He's a good brother. He's never represented himself in this way before, and people make mistakes, and... You know, he's done far more good than bad ever since we've known him from his days as a Fab Five member. He's a beautiful person, and I love him dearly, and I'm happy that he did not lose his job, okay? But I do believe, and I'm happy that on a personal level that he only got these five games. But if they had suspended him for the rest of the season, I could not have said a word because I think it would have been entirely and completely justified. Here is the part that I think you, Jay Williams, and all and everybody's missing. We're not letting Greg Card off the hook. He deserved to be suspended for a game, okay? Because, again, he grabbed the coach clearly knowing that the coach didn't want to talk to you. He didn't grab the coach to hit him. He didn't grab the coach to start a fight. He grabbed the coach to try to explain to him and talk to him. But, nevertheless, the kind of, it, the kind of mood that Jawan Howard was in, just let it go, speak to him after the game, et cetera, et cetera. You played a role in this stuff being exacerbated. We got that. Jawan Howard swung at another coach. It's not whether it was a punch or a slap. It's what it caused thereafter. Was it a swing? Even if he had punched, was it a swing? Let, me, let me explain. He, was it let a me, swing, though? He swing. Was it definitely, swing? definitely was a swing. It wasn't a punch. But it wasn't a slap. It wasn't a close. It was definitely a swing. Face. Yeah. I mean, we can watch it again, but... We can watch it again, but it was definitely swing. a swing. It was that, okay. what, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is this. Even if he had punched a coach and it didn't affect the coach at all and he had reacted the same way, what I'm saying to you is the bigger issue is what ensued after. The mm -hmm. fact that it was damn near melee that took place is the issue. Yeah. And, when, and, where, and where I wanted to point out to you and Jay Williams is this. We're talking about gar guard touching him. You know what we're not talking about? The assistant coach who didn't touch him. That's who you swung on. Like, why? I mean, I'm sure he might have said something or whatever, 
But the fact of the matter is, in a, round, in a, in a strange kind of way, it almost would have been more understandable if you swung at guard because that's who your ire was aimed at. You were disgusted with his decision to call a timeout, to stop the game instead of letting it just go on when you had a double-digit lead and it was less than 10 seconds left. It, it would have made more sense and just swung on him. You actually swung on an assistant coach who didn't touch you, who didn't put his hands on you. So what I'm saying is when you take that into account, combine that with the fact of the, of the near melee that took place with two players getting suspended because they ended up throwing punches and what have you, and how ugly that was and could have ended up being. That's where my position is that I'm happy he got just the five games, but I would have understood if he got suspended for the rest of the season. And I was petrified that he was going to get something that he did not deserve, which was to be fired. I was scared Michigan was going to fire him because prior to yesterday's show, I got word that they were having meetings and contemplating firing him. And I hope that wasn't true. I was praying that that wasn't true, and it ended up not being true. Absolutely. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.